What's up everybody? I'm Raph the Human and this is Bartaby, my beautiful bearded dragon. Today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of reptile keepers seem to think is all fun and games but actually could be dangerous. Of course there's a time and place for everything but today we're going to talk about why you shouldn't really feed rodents to your captive lizards. If someone tells you that you shouldn't do something, you should at least expect a logical reasoning of why, even if it's not correct, to open up the conversation. So here we go. As fun as it may be to watch a bearded dragon devour a rodent, and shortly here you are going to witness Bartaby eating her first rodent of all time, but it's gonna be really tiny. This animal, uh, basking in the outback of Australia, being that they're diurnal and semi-arboreal, they'll do some digging, but it's definitely not a burrowing style animal. She's probably not encountering a whole bunch of rodents. Even if, oh, well, maybe, you know, you heard of somebody that was in Australia that saw a bearded dragon eating a whole nest of rodents or, or something like that. That is a wild bearded dragon. So when they see fat, they're going to take that opportunity because they don't know when they're going to get that much fat again. Versus Bartaby, along with many other captive bearded dragons that get fed way too much. So they're not going to need to take a massive advantage of this fat source that in the wild could make sure that they sustain life for a little while but I'm here to do that for Bartaby, right? She doesn't have to worry about it. And some may say like, well, oh, well she ate it and she wanted more, like why not, why not keep feeding her more of those? Well, it's like people and sugar, right? We're all naturally addicted to sugar because when you ran into a fruit tree, when we were just ooh, ooh, ah, ah, all around town over here, we would eat as much sugar as we physically could. Same with greasy food, that fatty, disgusting food that tastes so delicious, right? We feel like we need it because it's in our DNA, right? Pack it on, keep it, keep it with you, store it for a little while because we might run out of food next time. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen for a lot of people. Yeah, I'm grateful to say that I'm one of the lucky ones, right? That doesn't have to worry about my next meal. But Bartaby is a lucky one now too, if we're gonna call captive reptiles lucky, but uh, her meals are covered. And she's been doing pretty well with dieting because when she first hit adult size, she was like massively overweight. But now she's uh, she's looking okay. She's probably a little bit plump. And that's another reason why this is gonna be a tiny rodent. But uh, these guys are supposed to eat veggies anyway as adults. So, like the vast majority of their food should come from vegetation. And as fun as it may be to watch her eat this mouse that I'm about to feed her for the first time ever, It'll kill her, all right? If I feed, if I keep feeding her mice because it's fun to watch, she's gonna die young because reptiles do not process fat the same way we do. They don't metabolize things as fastly, as fastly, wow. As quickly as we do, but being that she's never had one and she's been such a good girl lately eating her greens, why not? She's, uh, she's intrigued. Monster. How could you do this? How? Okay, Barnaby, uh, that's enough food for you today. So, go get warm. We do have a couple other lizards to feed rodents today, but these next two are a little bit different than Bartaby's situation. These two arguably can handle a bit more protein. These are animals that are maybe not quite as athletic as animals like Bartaby and other bearded dragons. Uh, can't run and jump the same way that she can. To be less polite about it, more potatoey animals, okay? Animals that aren't doing much hunting. And I mean, you could argue that all reptiles are really opportunistic eaters, but I, I'm pretty confident Bartaby could run and chase something down if she wanted it, versus animals like Smog, my blue tongue skink, and Zilly, my Sudan plated lizard, who can be pretty quick, but uh, maybe not quite as agile as some other animals. And I'm fairly confident that in the wild, both of these lizards that we're gonna feed next may run upon a little rodent's nest in a burrow and would probably take advantage of every little mousey that they could get. So it's still not something I'm gonna do super often with these guys, 
but let's feed more lizards, more rodents. So Smog, our blue tongue skink, has actually never tong fed for us. I just sprayed down his enclosure that usually gets him out and about, but to give him some time to hopefully get more active, let's go ahead and feed Zilly, who will readily tong feed, but I can't really handle, versus Smog will let me handle him, but doesn't want to eat food off the tongs. I don't know. Hi, Zilly. She's right back there. You can see her tail sticking out. Look, I know you don't like me too much, but it's time for a little treat, okay? I come, I come bearing gifts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're okay, baby girl. Reinvest the earnings into foreign currency accounts with compounding interest, and it's gone. Looks like we have some good news, though, guys. This is Smog's second time already since we've met him that he's fully shed. He definitely didn't look malnourished when we first got him, but maybe a little bit skinny. such a good boy smog no more that's it i just pet you <laughs> i just pet you and you get angry all right yeah go somewhere else i'll put your hide back all right yeah, get up go get one so we've seen a situation where feeding rodents to a reptile is really not at all necessary what do you mean why were they not necessary but can be okay if you keep it to the rare occasion just had a look at animals that can probably tolerate it just fine but of course hey moderation is key so why not move on to a situation where even though i don't love feeding rodents i would argue that it's very necessary it was super necessary to go ahead and feed this little tiny lizard a little tiny mouse gaia our african fat-tailed gecko who has been laying eggs Think she's all done for the season. We ended up with six good eggs and one didn't hatch and two clutches, so four eggs that were just not good eggs. And these are tiny eggs, but she's a tiny lizard and these eggs are a large percentage of her body. Every time she lays those eggs, she is using a lot of her own fat, her own calcium to create them and then poop them right out of her cloaca. To make sure that she stays nice, strong and healthy and those eggs don't sap everything that she has, we have done this a couple times already this season, but now that I think that she's all done laying eggs, it's a great time to give her her last rodent of the season. And she's been doing good keeping weight on, eating things like crickets, superworms, but I say we just put a little uh, feather in our cap here. And by feather, I mean mice hairs. to your lizards unless you can or should look i'm really not trying to demonize anybody that maybe likes to feed even large mice to leopard geckos i've seen those seen those crazy videos out there but i think it's it's a semi-important video to make as important as i can be i suppose because humans really do in my opinion have a distorted view on on feeding animals right i mean just think we feed kibble to dogs. Some dogs go their whole lives just eating kibble. Being that I don't think we have it perfect for animals like dogs and cats that have been around us for so long, let alone 
reptiles, okay? Something so wildly different from us. So go ahead and feed rodents to your lizards if you feel like situation permits. But just remember what people might call fat and happy, when you translate that to reptile language, that might mean fat, miserable, and probably dead. Sooner than we'd like anyway, Master Roshi. Don't die ever. I'm Raph the human. This is Roshi the leopard gecko, who was not fed a rodent, but the uh, closest reptile I could see to grab that didn't just eat. And you've been watching Red Ribbon Reptiles. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, it means a whole lot, and we'll see you next time. Bye.